is obviously the biggest news of week one is the end of the New York football Jets season. Will, I would like to offer my sincere condolences on the 89 to one Cowboys Jets Super Bowl prop matchup that was extremely live. This, that Jets defense is real. And uh, they deserve that night. They deserve the win. It was good to see a little bit of a uh, positivity and smiles on their face, but for all intents and purposes, the year is over. So I'm not going to lament on that anymore, but I do wonder if any of you see a bet that might have been triggered or was triggered in the lieu of the uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, being out for the year for the Jets. Is there something you guys immediately hopped on or still thinking about? First of all, I mean, we're, we're what, three days later. I still can't believe it happened like that. Like we talked last week about how the, the similarities with Testa Verde and all the hope and for four plays in, it's just, I'm still stunned. I, I'm still just so depressed. It was, it's so bad for the sport because it was such a great storyline. And man, I think it makes it worse that they won the game because it shows just how good the team is, how good the roster is and how little they need out of the quarterback. Uh, that being said, in, in terms of a bet, if they can somehow get to nine wins, whether it's with Wilson and get in the playoffs or they, tr you know, trade for Tannehill in a month or Kirk cousins, if they can somehow get in the playoffs, there will be a narrative that Salah held this team together and overcame all of this adversity. Uh, there'll be a little bit of a sympathy vote. It will be a great narrative. They haven't made the playoffs in forever, which helps with these things. So Salah at 14, 15 to one to win coach of the year. Uh, if you're going to bet him plus 200 to make the playoffs or, or in that neighborhood, I think Salah coach of the year is a better bet. Maybe sprinkle and split, split your bet that way, but that would be the bet I would look at. Man, you are so right with that. And that makes me terrified because I'm sitting here holding a McDaniel ticket and <laughs> what Tua did last week. I mean, Tua made some throws this year that he never made last year, especially that go route uh, with the game on the line in the second half. Tua and McDaniel and Hill and Waddle are onto something special here. But now and you're you're totally right. If Salah can get them the nine or ten wins, he probably wins coach of the year. Now I heard Jeff's list of quarterbacks for the Jets. It was like Joey Harrington, Mariota, and Josh Johnson. Right? <laughs> All four were done. Right? All quack, quack, quack. Um, I, like, I feel like this is not going to be popular here, but I they still have a top five defense in New York. They've got the running backs. They have the receivers. Is plus two and a quarter to make the playoffs a bad bet? I, I don't know, man. Yeah, they have to play uh, the 2009 version of it with Sanchez, yeah. So here's the thing about Jets making the playoffs, right? Let, let's kind of count the AFC teams, right? So you have Chiefs, let's say Bengals, Jaguars, and you have the Dolphins, right? Well, Buffalo is probably making the playoffs too. And someone from the NFC, uh, AFC North, let's use Baltimore. Well, is, are the Jets in over the Chargers now? Like, like who are the Jets That's in the thing. over then, right? Because who who are they going to take the place of? Herbert's making the playoffs. I know I don't, I don't trust the Chargers ever, but they're going to be a <laughs> playoff team, right? I mean, like, what if Russell Wilson sort of turns it around and Denver becomes a playoff S team? Like, it, I just don't see the spot for the Jets to make the playoffs with Zach Wilson. And they're going to stick with him. There's no answer out there. I've seen the list right. of, of quarterbacks. None of them are going to do the job. You have Zach Wilson there. He's been in this offense. Now, unfortunately, it's an, it's an Nathaniel Hackett offense. And, you know, his technique for having those tackles cut didn't really help Aaron Rodgers there very much. But you, you, he's just, he's there. He's been in the offense. And you just hope to simple things down, have your defense win games, and try to eliminate the mistakes from Wilson. And you just ride with him. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.